literally taking to the skies ahead of the world premiere in Los Angeles. Outside a couple of glimpses in the trailers, we haven't seen much of Smaug, the desolate dragon from the trilogy's second part. So while Air New Zealand dealt to that, Wellington Airport was also adding to the suspense. Today, an aircraft hangar became a dragon's lair. So far, Hobbit fans have only seen Smaug's eye. Today, he was revealed 54 metres long, taking workers 459 hours to complete. Yeah, this is a flying billboard. It's a billboard for the movie, uh, The Hobbit, uh, and it's also a billboard for New Zealand and New Zealand Inc. This Boeing 777 will arrive in Hollywood in time for the premiere of The Desolation of Smaug. It'll be towed to a museum off the runway for a special event. Wellington Airport's also caught Hobbit fever. Weta Workshop spent three months creating these two eagles, each with a thousand feathers, weighing almost two tons. We went through around three iterations on the sizing and just kept on upping them and upping them and upping them. And finally we got here and... Um, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad we didn't make them any smaller. The birds joined Gollum, who was created for the previous Hobbit movie, and Weta founder Sir Richard Taylor already has ideas for the next. Oh, definitely, a lot of thoughts. I can't share that one with you yet, but, uh, but you can imagine, I'm sure. It's a very, very exciting thought. The Desolation of Smaug is due for release on December 13th, and a trailer for the film is expected out this week. Natasha Smith, Sky News.